A few weeks ago, I decided to make my son a new bed for Christmas. I thought, what better bed to make than a replication or a remake of the Gokstad bed from Norway. This is one of the true Viking kind of pieces of large scale furniture that we know of. I'm also making a state bed at the moment. That'll be up in a week or two. Coming back to this however, um, so I bought the timbers in, we're going to go through this step by step and uh, there's only really four steps to do, there's the slats, the ends, the two side rails uh, and the bed posts. Okay, so let's break those down. I've made this in such a way that it is with modern materials, milled timber and that kind of thing. I'm using radiata pine. And um, obviously I'm making this to fit a, um, a modern single size mattress. So the dimensions are gonna be slightly different to the original. I think that's okay, however. So let's get cracking. The first thing we're gonna make is gonna be the two bed ends. Alrighty, so the first thing we're gonna have a look at is the ends okay let's just write that down third end okay now there's two factors here one of which is what's available in terms of raw materials and the second is the the sizes of modern things like mattresses and so on so this is not a completely historically accurate item rather this is pretty much the best I can do with what I have, I guess. Uh, so what was that for? All right, so the timber that I'm using is pine and it is, um, it comes in lengths of 2.4 meters by 18 centimeters by 30 millimeters. All right, so Pretty much my width here was 93. Now if I put in an imaginary bed post, which comes down here, that's nine. So I wanted an overflow of three on each side. So, so that's 12 plus 93 equals 105 centimeters, radio. Right, so this is a pretty simple build. Let's go and get that done. Any kind of woodworking project like this, you really do need the correct PPE on that is personal protective equipment. That is glasses, a mask, and ear defenders. The second component that we're going to have a look at uh, is going to be the bed rails. Obviously you're going to need two of these. 
Again, I'm making these out of uh, pre-cut pieces of timber that are 2.4 meters long, roughly speaking 18 centimeters wide by 30 millimeters. This is all very simple, although there is a bit of involvement in it. Uh, we'll come back to some of that. Um, it is ridiculously humid here in Brisbane at the moment, so um, I have really truly been struggling to make this work as best I kind of hoped it would. Alright, so there is our two, two bed posts. Alright, <clears throat> and these four little squares you can see are going to be the mortise and tenon joints. Radio. So if that is oh, 18, I used 210 as my length. All right, now I measured up six and then had 20 mil for the slats. And what I then did is I found the middle and cut 10. Each of these slats is a measurement of 15 centimeters apart and each of these other slats, the remaining six are eight centimeters. So again, 15, eight. Sorry if my writing is not awesomely clear, 15 and eight. And I think that remainder is roughly 13.5. I can't remember the exact mass off the top of my head. Uh, now this section here is 15, again that is nine which leaves six for the mortise and tenon joint. All right, so that should give you a pretty clear idea of how I did my two bed rails, 15, 15, eight, and eight there. All right, so there's two of those. Okay. Radio with the bed ends done, they're nice and simple. Let's take a look at the two side rails. Now there's um, two different slats that I used. I had six and then I had one in the middle. All right, so the six, um, let me see, that was eight, six, six, that's a total of 14. These were um, now, Because these sit on the bed rail, the measurements are slightly different. I'm doing this off the top of my head in, in retrospect, so it's a bit different. Um, so 
So if that's my end and this is my rail, right? So we have that extra overflow. So this is now 99 because you have 93, 3 and 3. Then you have another 3 and a 2. 2 and 3. So let's just add that up correct. 99 plus 3, 2, 3 and 2 for each side, which is makes for a total of 109 centimeters. All right. So this one is essentially the same but wider. Uh, I can't remember exactly. I think this was about 18 centimeters wide, whereas the other ones are 14. So it's a bit wider. It's not much wider. Um, so, and it had about an extra five and five on it, which brings that to 119. which makes sense, yes it does. All right, so the total length of 119 because you're allowing for the two mortise and tenon joints. All right, okay, so that's my, my two uh, slats. The bed slats, uh, and there we go, we're all pretty much done. Okay guys, Now lastly, I've got the, the four bed posts. There's essentially the two views on these. All right, artist of the year, I am not. We all know that, but that's okay. All right, so these were made by, now all of my dimensions are obviously in centimeters. I apologize for that. That's what I work in. That's what I'm used to. So um, I apologize to my American and Canadian viewers. Hi Jess. I measured down six, six and six to start with. Now what that meant was that I could come in about a centimeter and a half and to create that nice little trim that's on the top of the bed, right? You then have, um, so this is then the 18 centimeters. So I cut in, to the middle here at three and five again same same five five and three total height is 72 centimeters so that comes in one and a half on all four sides And it is essentially the same on the other one. But you have this longer piece, which is the eight, right? Because remember that height of the side rails is eight. Otherwise that's all the same. Now, um, just quickly, I found this to be it, it, it looks very simple on the surface, but it's actually nowhere near as simple as it sounds. Um, there's a lot of detail work there, and it's because of the thickness of the posts, I found them quite difficult to work with. However, um, the challenge was definitely worthwhile. Now, the, the big problem that I had was creating these cuts here at the bottom to reduce the sides by the one and a half. So I tended to find that I had saw blade markings on these posts and you can see that slightly if you look at, at the video. Um, I'm not an expert carpenter, I'm simply someone who has a great passion for this um, <clears throat> and, and I really love what I do um, and I love to share it. I love to share it with you guys. You guys mean a lot to me but um, 
we had this um, we had this problem of these saw blades and I don't know how best to solve it with the tools that I have so um, I would guess a better option would be a circular uh, correction would be a band saw or a table saw um, but I don't have access to those not readily I don't have ready access to a band saw or a table saw which is a shame uh, so I've simply had to do the best that I can with the tools that I have um, this would have taken forever with traditional techniques um, that's you know and, and uh, I, I've suffered heat stroke in the past and I nearly actually on about the fourth day I nearly fainted again because the heat stroke over here I really had a hard time trying to maintain hydration because it's been so hot and um, and that's been a bit of a challenge so so there we go anyway uh, I'm making this as a Christmas present for my son so really excited about it um, I would really like you to um, I'd like some feedback from you what can I do different what can I do better how can I improve a few things just with the simple tools that I do have uh, very much looking forward to your feedback please leave a comment I do appreciate them and I do read them all um, and they mean a lot to me because that's uh, you know largely how I grow and develop so um, you know and, and share the knowledge guys it's, it's not a trade secret it's it's really important that we share all right let's get cracking on some bed posts okay the side rails are now done now we've got to take a look at the two um, at the four bed posts this is probably the hardest part of the project and it did take a lot of um, problem solving around how I could do it. You might have noticed this is a ridiculously hot period of the year. It's not really spring, it's um, well, it's, it feels very much well and truly like we're into summer.
I'm not really ready to um, to assemble this. I haven't actually finished all of the um, mortise and tenon joints, which is a bit of a shame. But there's a storm coming, and I need to get this inside. And I have room in my garage for it, so I'm going to have to bring it into my son's room. Ah, so basically, we're going to use it, and then um, I'll finish it up next week. Sounds of suburbia, sirens in the background. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit disappointed with this. Some of my cuts haven't come out as well as they should have done, and it's a little bit of a shame. Um, I am sort of better than this, I guess, but this is the hardest project that I've ever done in my life by far. Um, ah, uh, I've really tried to be fairly authentic to the, to the original, the Goxad bed. I think I've come pretty close. And I am pretty happy with it. Um, there's a few points that I'd like to uh, to work on, and that's fine. We're all learning here. No one's an expert. No, not really. Uh, but uh, but I really want to get this the uh, the varnish dry before we we run it inside tonight. So let's get cracking on that. The bed is now complete. Now I've unfortunately had to rush the varnishing slightly. This is only a first coat and I haven't done all of the mortise and tenon joints, which is a bit of a shame, but there is a storm coming and it's gonna be here in an hour or two. So I wanted a little bit of time for the, the varnish to finish drying, rush it inside and my son can sleep on it tonight. So a week or two before Christmas, that's no big deal. But I didn't want this being exposed to any of the, uh, the humidity, the high heat or the uh, or the rain itself. All right, I think this has come out remarkably well. Um, I'm actually incredibly impressed with it. Some of the, the, the cuts have not been done very well, unfortunately, and that's a bit of a shame because it has kind of let it down a little bit. But other than that, I am really, really, really impressed and I'm so happy with this, how this has come out. Um, I'm really, really excited to see how the state bed comes out. That's going to be coming out soon. So. Um, Fantastic. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.